you can order your copy of my 2021 NFL Draft Guide today. What you'll get is over 550 individual prospect scouting reports like you see here, a ton of information that'll help you keep track of who your favorite team drafts or even signs as a free agent. It's all here, over 650 full color pages in PDF form. You can order your copy at the following link, footballgameplan.com slash 2021 draft guide. Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here with football game plan scouting. And you know what that means. The NFL draft and CFL draft for 2021 is rapidly approaching and it's time to get into our prospect rankings for this year's draft class. And before we get started, let's take a look at what the grades that you'll see by the prospects actually mean. Let's talk inside linebackers as we take a look at their 2021 draft grades. At number one is TCU linebacker Garrett Wallow. He has outstanding instincts and a great feel for offensive football. He's got the terrific lateral agility and short area explosiveness that you look for and his consistent excellence year over year, game after game, just shows you that his success isn't a fluke and he's gonna be a star at the NFL level. At number two is Chaz Surratt out of North Carolina. The former quarterback has outstanding athleticism with A-plus change of direction skills. In zone coverage and in man coverage, he is better than most backers because of his knowledge base of passing concepts, which allows him the ability to anticipate and make plays on the ball. He's got significant upside potential moving forward. Checking in at number three is Micah Parsons of Penn State. He's a tackle to tackle, sideline to sideline player. He'll own everything within the perimeter of that line of scrimmage in a run game. He's unfazed by contact when he's pursuing the ball carrier, never getting knocked off course. And what I really like most about his game is that he plays with that dog mentality that you want out there in your defenders. Fourth in our rankings is Auburn linebacker KJ Britt. He's outstanding versus a downhill run game, getting great run fits and is unafraid of having those physical discussions with running backs at the point of attack. I also feel like that he's a very effective A and B gap blitzer, as well as a good open field tackler. And rounding out the top five is Derek Barnes of Purdue. He's another one with excellent instincts and awareness on the interior. He has a really good key on an opponent's run game his great first step quickness is able to meet the action at the line of scrimmage and he delivers a forceful shot every time. You rarely see him miss opportunities to make a tackle. Here is a look at the rest of the top 10. Personally, I think the 2021 class is pretty strong at the top. Grant Stewart out of Houston plays with the level of kamikaze to his game. Ernest Jones, Nick Bolton, and Monty Rice, along with KJ Britt, who we talked about earlier, just shows you how stacked the SEC was at that position. And Patty Fisher of Northwestern was one of the more accomplished backers in football. He finished his illustrious career with an eye-popping 404 tackles and 11 forced fumbles. This dude is always around the football. Errol Thompson of Mississippi State is yet another stellar backer coming from the SEC this season. He's a bully type inside backer that gets really good run fits and also has excellent contact power. If he decides to fill a gap, just consider it filled. I think he has upside potential as a blitzer because of the aggressive nature of his game. Now moving on to prospects 11 through 20 and Cameron McGrone of Michigan is the prospect listed here who has some upside within his game. He gets an aggressive run fit every time and I like how when he makes up his mind to go downhill, he does so violently. Trajan Stevens McQueen of Georgia State is a tremendous player at taking on blockers while not losing his path to the ball carrier. At times you'll see him blow up both the blocker and the running back at the same time. And I'm a big fan of David Curry's ability in zone coverage. The linebacker out of Georgia Tech gets the right amount of depth in his drops and has the athleticism to carry routes down the middle of the field or the seam in cover two. John Radigan of Army put together a fantastic senior season. He was able to parlay that into a hula bowl invite. Now Radigan just has a great understanding of the underneath passing game with regards to zone coverage and is always putting himself in the right passing window to make a play. Now, rounding out the rest of our inside linebacker rankings with prospects 21 through 28, we talked about Radigan already, but how about Richard McBride of SMU? He's very light on his feet, good fluid athleticism for an inside backer, and one who can run with both backs and tight ends, and in some situations, 
carry wide receivers down the seam in zone coverage. Just an overall impressive group of linebackers, in my opinion, in 2021. So that's it for this edition of Football Game Plan Scouting. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan. Also subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and leave us a five-star rating. That's where you can find our Scout Team Podcast and keep it locked every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the Game Plus Network for our Scout Team show, where we will have a lot more of NFL and CFL draft-related content coming down the pike.